folks, welcome back to our Origin Summer Preview 2015. I am here with Isaac Vega. Thank you for joining us, sir. And uh, no problem, Z. we're taking a look at this gorgeous looking game called yes, Ashes yes. from Plat Hat Games. Yes. Walk me through this a little bit. What well we just got we just stuff? got the pre-production copy in yesterday. It was shipped right. directly here to Origins for us. Cool. Um, it is looking absolutely fantastic. In Ashes, you are taking the role of these Phoenixborns that are fighting amongst each other to collect each other's ashes and become these powerful gods. Okay. All right. So you're going to be taking the role of one of these decks um, and fighting against the other players. You're going to be using dice as resources in order to bring out different cards and use them to attack different players. Uh, you have these awesome tokens that are here. You're going to be placing exhaustion token on cards. And what's really unique about this game is that it has this interesting back and forth gameplay. Your opponent takes a turn, you take a turn. So you really get to react during the battle, right. um, which kind of separates it from the other games in the same genre. Um, another thing that's really cool too is that you have these dice that you're going to be using as resources. You're going to have 10 dice. You can go ahead and build up your own dice pool. You can build, you have a lot of different uh, variation in what you can do in deck building as well. Um, it's currently up for pre-order on our website. Um, it's going to be up until pre-order until Gen Con. Mm -hmm. um, it's not going to release until Gen Con. And uh, if you pre-order, you're going to get the Demona Odin Star promo, which is a complete other character, so you get a seventh here. character. Right. Um, so one it, player, so one player gets a whole deck of this, but they, they can then take this and just make whatever deck they want from it. Yes. So will a player deck be thinner than that then? Yeah, it just depends on uh, how you want to build the deck. Each deck is going to have one character, these cards right here just reference the dice and give you uh, different dice abilities okay, as well. Cool, cool. Um, this is just a player reference card. Then you get 30 cards that actually go into your deck. Okay. Now each Phoenixborn has their own unique card that only can be deck built into their okay, deck, and that's that's uh, symbolized right by the little thing and the, uh, their little picture in the corner right there. I see. Right okay. Here. Every other card in their deck can be built into any other Phoenix Borns deck. So you can go ahead and do as much different type of deck building that you want. So your deck is 30 cards. That's your, going to be called your draw pile. You also have these cool cards that have a different back. Mm -hmm. These conjuration cards are going to be summoning out these different units onto your battlefield as well. Right. So you'll notice that she, her car, her special card is also a special conjuration that summons out this dude. So he's special to her too. But these, but these guys can be summoned out too. Each Phoenix Born has a battlefield and spellboard limit, so that tells you how many units you can actually have on your battlefield, okay. um, as well as how many spells that you can have on your spellboard. So you're gonna have a spellboard as well, and you're gonna place cards on too. Got it. Now, when does the die rolling come in? At the beginning of each round, you're gonna be rolling ten dice. Okay. Okay. And At the beginning, keep your resources for that round. Basically. Right. Exactly. And how you can go ahead and mitigate the luck is that during your turn, you can go and discard cards from your hands. You can discard cards from the top of your draw pile, or you can discard cards from your spell board in order to change the sides of those dice to what you need them to be. Right. All right? So it's going to be very easy for you to manage your resources. It's just your choice as to how, how do you want to manage those resources. When do I go ahead and make that sacrifice in order to take it? Cool. But you have a lot of access to stuff. Nice. And these dice are, are gorgeous. They're yeah, nice they turned and, out uh, fantastic. I mean, they're, they're, they're really high quality stuff. Great colors. Yeah. And the game, I mean, just stunning. This cover's beautiful. Cool. So you said when is this coming out again? This is planned. It is currently on schedule to be released at Gen Con. Um, people that pre-order are going to probably get it a couple days before Gen Con. Okay. So I highly encourage anybody to pre-order. You get fifteen dollars off the game if you pre-order, and as well as the Demon Ode to Start promo. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, sir, for joining us. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you bet. And thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.